Scazzaro over the ball, snaps, Cooper fakes, pulls it back, going to throw it, pressure coming, off the back foot, down the sideline, Barry's got it, 20, 10, 5, Trey Barry, touchdown, Jacksonville State. Cooper had pressure and he actually threw off the back foot, nobody. Tramiel Terry, a right half, second and 10, Scazzaro over the ball, snaps, Cooper fakes, pulls it back, going to throw it, pressure coming, off the back foot, down the sideline, Barry's got it, 20, 10, 5, Trey Barry, touchdown, Jacksonville State. And Cooper. 10 from near 11. Cooper out of the gun, the snap. Again to Green in the middle to the Cutchback dives. And did no signal yet. Now, touchdown, Jacksonville State. A late call there, waiting for the official to the signal. From 10. near 11. Cooper out of the gun, the snap. Again to Green in the middle to the Cutchback dives. And did no signal yet. Now, touchdown, Jacksonville State. A late call there, waiting for the official to signal. Steel lineup is a wing right, and now Hester in motion to the right side. Webb to throw it. Screen pass outside. Burrows a one-handed catch. Spins got away from a man and will gain yardage across the 30. Two tight ends set. Barry on the left, Rice on the right. Fake. Coop keeps drives. Touchdown, Jacksonville State. I think yes, he got there. Touchdown. Had to wait, boy. He just lowered his head, went right at a man, and took him on. And if that's Williams, he is. And here they come. Robbie Lofton on that grab. That's his first catch of the year for the redshirt sophomore out of Lexington. They throw it. Brantley got to get hit and sacked on the blitz outside. Christian Wofford got him. Wofford records his first sack of the junior. 140 to go in the half. Big play. Obviously, Brantley to throw. Pressure. Got him backside. Sacked him at the 20-yard line. And again, he's back. Actually, really more of a wing right. Cooper the snap fakes, pulls it back, going deep. Pearson is open out here. Touchdown, Jacksonville State. They bit on the fake in the middle, and he ran right by the safety man. He's back. Actually, really more of a wing right. Cooper the snap fakes, pulls it back, going deep. Pearson is open out here. Touchdown, Jacksonville State. They bit on the fake in the middle, and he ran right by the safety man. Was that Brown or was that the corner, the other guy? At maybe 34. Woodbury fakes, looks again down the field, intercepted by Darius Joyner. Joyner the pick, breaks the tackle 25 30, 35 40. Cuts back across the field 45, going to get hit and knocked down around the 47 yard line. The first interception for the red shirt freshman out of Hanley Arroyo. 34. Woodbury fakes, looks again down the field, intercepted by Darius Joyner. Joyner the pick, breaks the tackle 25-30, 35-40. Cuts back across the field, 45, going to get hit and knocked down around the 47-yard line. Green now, a right halfback. Snap to Webb, fakes the handoff, looking to throw down the middle, wide open, uh -huh. caught. Touchdown, Pearson, third of the day. Post pattern, and he was wide open. He certainly was, but I'm telling you, Zion Webb put it right on the money, a perfect pass. And he, halfback. Snap to Webb, fakes the handoff, looking to throw down the middle, wide open, uh -huh. caught, touchdown, Pearson, third of the day. Post pattern, and he was wide open. He certainly was, but I'm telling you, Zion Webb put it right on the money, a perfect pass, and he just tied. And Matthews, no, Webb going to keep it, Zion Webb, touchdown, Jacksonville State, seven-yard run for Zion Webb to get to the house. So Zion with his fifth rushing touchdown on the season. It was a huge hole. You know, good win. I mean, you knew it was going to be a um, long game, so lots to talk about, 160 snaps. Uh, so you just knew uh, they was going to throw it a lot, you know, uh, 61 times. We knew that going in, that they would, they was going to chuck it around. And, you know, I, I think the moral story is our, our depth kind of took over as the game went on. You know, I, I think we played a lot of people, and that paid off for us this pass rush. And, you know, just uh, getting the ball on the ground. And we, we got banged up a little bit. We lost Trey Trey Williams at halftime. And so some young guys had to play on the back end, and you know someone played every snap, and that was that was a good thing too. So just see those guys do that. But um, you know, first half, I think you know just holding them three field goals was big. You knew they were going to move the ball, and the you know that type of an offense is going to get their yardage. And uh, you what you want to do is when you get in the red zone, is hold them field goals, and we were able to do that. And would like to kind of hold them outside that field goal range, but they got it down there and they made the field goal. I thought the kicker had a good day. And then uh, offensively got out of the gate really early. I, I don't know that we didn't relax a little bit. I don't know what you call it, but I mean we got out two first two drives, got up 14. We got two or three stops defensively and it's just kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of got bored. I don't, I don't, and, and, and they drove the ball and got some field goals and 
Uh, we threw two interceptions. You know, I think if you don't turn the ball over twice offensively, you probably get one or two more the first half. Game's probably out of reach then. And But then third, fourth quarter, I thought we played well. You know, I think that's where you've seen the depth come in. And like I said, just um, excited about the win. And you got to enjoy this one night and get on and get ready to play next week. Got a long road trip. Don't know, really know. Um, I know he got crack blocks. I don't, I don't know if it was concussion. I, I, I really don't know. I hadn't heard. Josh. Oh, I'm sorry, Zara. I'm sorry. Zara. I was going to say Josh. I don't think he got hurt. No. <laughs> I think he, he's fine. He just, when he head hit the turf, kind of whip blast him a little bit, but I think he's fine. There you go. Uh, he's tied to Josh. Oh, really? Josh Pearson is. Well, you know, it's just good to have a guy. It's a success story on on Josh's, you know, Pearson's end. I mean, he just come in and, um, you know, paid his dues. I mean, you know, went through some tough times and uh, getting eligible. And, you know, it's just good to see him play well. And I, I think his game got a lot better, you know, here in the last year or two. I mean, he's just really worked hard and worked himself into a position to have this kind of year. You know, I tried to tell everybody last year what kind of, you know, player he was. And uh, it was a shame that he couldn't play more, you know, last year. And, um, you yeah, but he's um, he's an amazing athlete, one. I mean, he can he can stretch the field vertical. He's got great speed. He's got length. So, you know, he we got ball on the screen a couple times a day, so he shows some quickness there, too. But he can go up and get the ball. So, um, similar players, uh, a little bit different players. You know, I, I think, uh, you know, Bars just had a way of just making plays. He could get open. And uh, I think Josh – you know, his Pearson's getting better at that as we go, and uh, his route running is getting better. You know, Barge is just an exceptional route runner. Uh, had good body lean and could able to stem DBs, just you know, create grass and get open. And uh, like I said, and he had he could catch deep balls as well, so he could catch jump balls. So a lot of similarities, a little a little bit different, but uh, you know, proud of proud of Pearson. You know, year he's having for sure. <laughs> yeah. A good good timing for us, you know, definitely. And I think our other receivers are doing a good job too. You know, they they some of them had some big plays and they're coming on them as a unit is is so much better. You know, probably best unit wise we've been, you know, deepest. Uh so you know, you had, you had Barge and Rubin and, and some other guys, you know, we had them two rolling, but I think the depth at all, you know, four wide out positions and when you go four wide is, is really really good. Well, I think they played well, you know, and I think the pass rush helped them. Uh, I think we played a lot of folks up front, which as the game went on, like I said, this, we, we were able to get there and rush some throws. And, you know, the, <laughs> you knew they were going to get a lot of opportunities uh, to make plays. And I thought our coverage, for the most part, we didn't give up a lot of deep balls. So, you know, that was just good to see. I think our corners played every snap. I don't think Jacquez or Ewell came out of the game. Feaster, you know, those guys played every snap, and they did a good job. In coverage, you know, there's times where they completed some balls, you know, in front of them. They was able to tackle a ball and get it down on the ground. And, you know, for the most part, very, very pleased with them because we played some young guys back here too. You know, you know Joyner and so those guys played well. I think he progressed really well. I mean, he's getting better. You know, more game reps you get, the better you get. It's good to see him get the I and T. And maybe the only interception we had. I don't know how many turnovers they had. Um, it was just good to see that, uh, you know, that, you know, he got that INT, and we'd hope for a few more turnovers. Uh, you know, we had two, I guess. So I don't know who got the other one. I'm trying to remember the other one, but um, I thought he played well. You know, he missed a couple open field tackles, but made some really good tackles too. So he's coming on. I think so, but it's hard to do. I mean, you got to – we're pretty good running the ball, so you, you got to get enough – man, that's one of the things kind of surprising. I mean, uh, EIU's tight, coverage was a lot tighter than we expected it would be. And they probably – I would say this when we had, I don't know, how I many 
five, that 579 yards of offense, but I felt like they played probably one of the better games they played defensively. You know, and uh, I, I thought they did a really nice job against our run game. You know, we struggled running the ball, you know, most of the day. and So I'm not pleased with that. We got to get better there. And, uh, you know, we got skills, got banged up a little bit. BJ played hurt. Uh, so, I mean, hey, those guys are sucking it up. And we played a lot of young guys up front, a lot of freshmen, you know, you know redshirt freshmen. So it's good to see those guys get snaps, too. So uh, I think, um, you know, they, they played, a, they, EIU played a good game defensively. Not really. We we're able to get him the ball. You know, a lot of times they'll you know, they will try to take him away. You know, get something over the top coverage wise, and you know, keep the post safety in the middle. Don't let him get get the post routes. And uh, we was able to you know get get some throws to him and let him make some plays. Does I mean you can't just single him out. I mean you got to you know I, I think our tight ends or you know they're vertical threats. They can beat you down the field, and we probably don't throw it to them enough down the field. You know uh, you know Trey Berry can extend the field, and you know I, I think that uh, you know getting those guys uh, Landon Rice is a good receiver too, and you know so you, when you spread the ball around like that to your tight ends and your running backs can catch the ball, it's hard to key on one guy. Really good. I mean, he's got a good arm, yeah, and his understanding of the game is getting better and better as we go. And uh, he's able to make – he can make all the throws, too. He can throw the deep ball. He can throw uh, quick game stuff. So, he's uh, he's making some throws, and that's just good to see. You can't just say, hey, he's just going to run the ball when he comes in the game. And uh, we do do some, um, you know, design runs to him when he's in the game. But, um, you know, a lot of read stuff, too. But we do the same thing with Coop. And, uh, you know, it's was, it was good to see him throw the ball as well as he's thrown the last two games. Because he's very capable of doing it, you know. I mean, the game lasted forever. Maybe I jinxed it. I said that all week. I said the game's going to last forever. It's going to be a long game. And uh, I told everybody I talked to all week they're going to throw it 50-plus times. It's going to last forever. First half seemed like it was a whole game. And then you get in there and you end of the third and you're going, we got another quarter, you know, because it just it lasted a long time. But uh, that's what happens when you play a team that throws the ball. And, and luckily, for us, fortunately for us, we got a deep team, and I, I think uh, you know they they've been a, a they've been able to score a bunch of points in the fourth quarter, you know, most games. So it was good to see that we we did a good job. Well, I mean, you you do want to get out of the game. You're up in the game. You wish the game would get over. It's not. It's kind of out of your control. They're they're throwing it when they're down and lengthening the game. It's not not much you can do about it, you know. Other than, you know, run the ball well yourself. And we did run the ball a little bit better the fourth quarter. And you know, I, I think that did help speed the clock up a little bit. The fourth quarter. Four, four quarter is probably the shortest quarter of all of them, you know. So it, it was good to see us do that. He is, I think so. I just, I think the room's just really deep, you know. I mean, you rotate the guys and play tonight kind of like we play them in practice. You know, you rotate in and, you know, you all get reps and it keeps them guys fresh. And uh, I think you're going to see those guys. It's going to be hard for guys to get over 100 yards just because we spread, spread the ball out so much with those guys. You know, each one of them, what, tonight got, you know, eight carries, ten carries apiece, something like that. So. It's uh, one of those deals where we got to run a little bit better too. You know, you'd like for those guys to get, you know, 10, 15 carries apiece. That way you're running it, you know, 34 times a game, snapping it a few more times. I thought the two interceptions kind of hurt us. You know, I, that that cost us some yardage and points, I think. You know, this two, two and INTs. Cause one of them was deep, you know, the one, uh, and we were rolling on that drive. And I thought the boy made a great play. Zion probably held it a count too late and should have got the ball out in front of us uh, and may have scored on the play. But DB made a really good play on that ball.